we've all been there. You're writing some TypeScript code. You think to yourself, let me just write as the type that it, TypeScript wants me to give to it. I know it's that type. They have the same fields. I learned kind of late in the game that this is actually bad practice. So I'm gonna teach you a couple ways how in 90% of the cases you can avoid using as, uh, formerly known as the type assertion. Hi, my name is Carmel. This is my channel, Carmel Codes. I'm a random senior software engineer out on the internet. I'm no expert, but I feel this is good to know and I wanted to put it out there. Disclaimer, I know that sometimes using type assertions is the only way and I'm not denying that sometimes that must be necessary. But I think most of the time you should try and use these two methods and see if you can make it without using a type assertion. Just quickly I wanna say that I know it comes up sometimes, so. I'm gonna write a simple string, hello world. Now under the hood, TypeScript knows that this is type string, but in this example, I'm gonna do something wrong. I'm gonna type it as a number. Now TypeScript will complain in this line and say, that's not a number, that is a string. But notice how when I hover over the variable on the left-hand side, it believes me, it says number. That's insane, think about that. You can lie to TypeScript and it'll just believe you. Will it pass your linter if you have one? Probably not, TypeScript will complain. But let's say I call this function that I've defined called foo. And all foo does is it takes in a number and it times it by two. If I call my original variable, my hello world variable, which I typed as number, and I call my function a couple lines below, it won't complain on that function call. Now this is kind of surprising, right? That's definitely not a number, but TypeScript doesn't know that. It'll simply believe you. Let's look at a real world example or something more attuned to what you might encounter in your day to day. Let's say I have a type user and this user simply has a name and an ID. I have a function called print name, which takes in a type user and it spits out the name of the user. I call my print name function and in line I have a variable that simply has a name. And the co compiler may complain if it doesn't have an ID. It says, no, that's not type user, it doesn't have an ID. So no problem. I know that the function, me as a human, I know that the function only needs a name. So what do I do? I type it as user. Now I could begin to add parameters to this inline object. I could begin to add ID. I could begin to add hobbies even. And even though hobbies isn't in the original user type, TypeScript won't complain when I call print name and it'll just let me pass in this object. This solution can become unmaintainable over time if you think you're receiving a certain object and it turns out that that object has more parameters or maybe not the parameters that you need. So here's a way how to deal with it that works nine times out of 10. All you do is you take your inline parameter, that thing you wanted to pass in, you move it up and you write colon the type that you want it to be. So in this case, I would write colon capital user and rewrite out the object. It does take two extra seconds, but it's better for the long-term health of the code that you're writing that, okay, I know for a fact that this is type user because I asserted it right above the function call. I'm now gonna show you the second approach to how I deal with this. It's slightly more complex, but it has come in handy for me from time to time. And that's using something called a type predicate. So what a type predicate does is it takes in a value and it asserts that the, the fields that are required for that type are there. If this video is helpful for you, please smash that like button. <laughs> oh, I always hate. Anyway, literally anything helps. Um, and thank you to my subscribers who are returning. Thank you, hello, I see you. Type predicates have this special property where they take in a parameter that can have a certain shape and it returns value is user. So whenever you see a function where it says is a certain type, that's called a type predicate and it's asserting that whatever comes in is for sure that type. So usually in the middle of that code will be some trivial stuff that you would never think to write out 
in the JavaScript world, but in the TypeScript world is kind of necessary. So you usually have this like Boolean statement where you're like making sure each property is there. So for example, value is not null and value name exists and value ID exists. It can be very simple, very like, oh, that's so obvious. I'm passing in an object of that type. But the benefit is that now the thing that you get back is for sure type user. Here I write if is user pretend user, then do whatever I need to do with that. So I print user. It'll like VS Code will know that it is the new type. So it may say user in your if you decide to use this in your application. That's it. Thank you so much for watching to the end. I hope this video was helpful. Bye bye.